All right, where are we? December 3rd. We got no money for free agents. So we're going we're gonna to figure out something here. Okay, yeah, we got no money. Let's go, uh... Let's go take a look at the guys that we are trying to extend and stuff. Everybody's content, nobody's angry. We don't have any more pending offers. Okay. Uh, actually, I do want to see F5. Okay, a lot of content. Nobody's super excited. Nobody's super sad. I can I can kind of live with that. Uh, what we do need to do is go back and uh, finish trying to get some of this personnel. Uh, we need a double A hitting coach. Though I don't remember who we made all of our other offers to. Let's see a day. Let's see if we get some responses to those. Hmm. Nobody's responding. Okay, let's get a. Let's go find us a double A pitching coach. Raconi cut. I think we offered Mike Maddox the, the big job. The Detroit Sim, we completely failed uh, Z-Wrench. I'm very upset. Pending offers. Uh, Mike Maddox, Joe Kerrigan are our pitching coaches that we're already working on. We need a third. I do want to try Charlie Huff out. See if Charlie Huff wants to be our double A pitching coach. I'm gonna assume he's gonna say no. Mm. All right, we'll try it. We'll see what happens here. We also need a double A hitting coach, I believe. Yeah, double A hitting coach. We need a single A pitching coach too. Let's uh anybody else that we can rock. AJ Sager. Also we could put him down lower, right? Let's see. I mean, if you can have a big impact on more guys lower, that'd be even better. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we'll give him the San Diego to Arizona League team job. Was that Sager? Quit misclicking. Offer contract. You think he'll take it? No interest. With tin caps. No interest. Nope. Ah. Uh, uh, I think because I didn't know if they're in jobs uh, during the year, they all got upset and left. Ricky Bonus. Did 
the Baz? Oh, will he take the job? No interest in going that low. Man. I think we're going to go have to have to go get someone else, someone unproven, if we're going to go down that low. Man. Okay, I'll take a shot with Luis De Los Santos. Doug Henry, former brewer. If he'll take the job, if he'll take the job, that'll be great. No interest. Yeah, I think uh, I think in the next one we're definitely going to focus on on the coaching a little more. Yeah, we should have done that much earlier. All right, we gotta find some hitting coaches. Oh, Rico Bronia, we definitely want him. But he's not gonna help anybody, no. Oh, he just texts everybody similarly, okay. Even the Fort Wayne tin caps job. Hitting coach, we want to focus on contact. Okay, so can we give him the Tri City Dust Devils job? Oh, no, somebody already has that job. My bad. Innocent uh, Cocoa. 19. All right, well, he can work with him. San Diego 2. No. 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 You made Ricky Henderson the head coach of your button run team? That's pretty brilliant. Eric Valent. Eric Valent's going to take any job I offer him. Josh McGee, 21. I mean, if he can help these guys, this guy's already kind of a beast. Does he want to try? Or do we have someone in Tri City? I think we have someone in Tri City already, right? Yeah. All right. Well, let's give. Let's offer him the tin cap job. Maybe those guys will get moved up. And let's see if these guys, are, any of these guys, are going to sign. That would also be quite important. We got Mike Maddox. That's huge. 
Got Sandy Alomar Jr. That's huge. Still need a hitting coach down here. He's like a grizzled veteran. I feel like Todd Benzinger always does well as a hitting coach. No, we don't need Tri-City. Fort Wayne Tin Caps, will you take the job? Okay, he's going to help a lot of those guys. That's beautiful. Some of these guys are already pretty good. So that's good. That should help out a lot. Still need a missions hitting coach. Anybody we want to try? Andy Fox? Remember Andy Fox? <laughs> Good old six to Ortega. Sherman Obando. King of Junior, I think we already offered him the pro hitting coach job. Did I see Dante Bichette? I do see Dante Bichette. See how that works out. Uh, I think that's all right for now. I assume they will fill in. So we don't have the money to do anything. Um, everybody's happy with their or their their offers. We've got a lot of ex-players. This is all ex-players right here. Except for uh, Luis De Los Santos. Unless he is, I just don't know. These guys are all keeping me on my toes. We got Barry Bonds. Let's go. I think we made I think we offered Griffey our triple A hitting coach job, right? Yeah. Uh we got no money, right? Let's go see if we can No money for free agents. Okay. Let's just get to the winter meetings. Because there's some guys that we want to trade. I think we have our infield of the future set with Urias, uh, per, uh, Urias uh, Allen guy. What's his name? With Asuhe, Urias, and uh, Allen Cordoba. That's pretty much our infield of the future. So I want to get to these winter meetings and see if we can move some of these other guys. Charlie Huff is in. I like it. I like it. Uh, Luis De Los Santos was in the bigs and then played for a couple years and then played in Asia. Thank you for that Z wrench. Okay. Winter meetings begin. Okay, let's see we can make some of these moves then. Uh, so who do we want to move? We want to try to move uh, not Scope, because he's a good kind of backup. Um, I mean, if we can get something good for him, let's, uh, let's shop him around. 
like him, Solarte, and uh, there's one other guy, I think. We've got to shop around just to see what we can get. Team chemistry is pretty good. Uh, we're all pretty content. Dustin Peterson would not be a bad pickup. 215, though. One of the things with this team is I, I don't want guys that are hitting like 220. Like a junior lake, we are not taking. Roberto Pena came up. I didn't play that great. And we have our catcher. Our catcher spot's pretty locked up. Guy's a little old. 27. Brad Peacock. I mean, we don't really need a starting pitcher like that. Hmm. He played pretty good. Tell me more about this Jason Martin character. I hit 303 in double A. I hit 300 with a double. That's, he's not bad. Doesn't cost much. Just didn't start his clock yet, right? With only four games. Jason Martin. Ratings? Decent. Some decent ratings. We can I mean, we could work with that. You can play left. He's got some gap power. We like him a little more than the OSA does, but that'll get us younger. That'll get us out of some of this scope money. And I really don't think Scope is going to play that much this year anyway. All right, what's the contract stat? Three million. Okay, so let's think about that. Jason Martin, don't forget that, guys. Andrew Heaney, had a bad year last year. I had a bad 2017 in this one, too. Rob Sagadin also went to my school. Jose Barrios. He fell out of the graces of the Twins, apparently. He did pretty good. No power, though. Doesn't strike out. Got tons of speed. Sprays the ball around. OSA's got him with a little more power than us. He might be a play. Is that granite? Make a note. Oh, nope. No, not with that batting average. Not with that batting average. Tyler O'Neill, definitely not with that batting average. What happened? Hit under 200 in the pros. We can't have that. Paul DeYoung, not bad. 2017 was a little rough. Oh, what? What up down here, though? Why is Washington looking to get rid of this guy? And why are we definitely taking him? We're definitely taking this guy for a scope. What's the deal? Why? What's wrong? This guy looks like a monster. What's wrong with him? A good player? Good everything? Good egg? And he hit bad history stuff? Had a sore back? We gotta take this guy, right? We got to take this guy. Yeah, we gotta take in Andrew Stevenson. Oh, I'm sorry, what's his what's his contract? Uh, 
one year and then arbitration. Okay. Oh, let's see. I should double check with our, what we think. They think. All right, we're all in agreement. That this guy's a beast. Let's get Andrew Stevenson. Jared Joseph. Was Jared Joseph one of the guys I offered? Third base. He hit 235 in the Sally League. He's got to be better than that. But this guy's showing that he can do it at all sorts of levels. Joseph's got way more power, though. But. And I don't think we don't really need infielders, but outfielders can help. Uh. Can I take them both? Let's see if I can trade someone else that I don't really want to work this out. Let's see, we got Frenchie Cordero. Only hit 219. <sighs> Dickerson hit well. We don't want to give up on Gettys yet. These are guys are that we like. That's two big prospects, though. Samson pitched good last year. Oh, we do want to get rid of Salarte too. <sighs> this would kill two birds with one stone. Can I give you Solarte now? No. Remove Mahomes. Add in Solarte. Because I think Solarte is getting paid too, right? Let's add him. Like, don't get me wrong, Solarte is good, but he cannot play defense. He's become like a huge liability for us. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the power, too. But we've got him signed for another two years. At five mil a year. And we can opt out. Oh, yeah. Let's, uh... I think I like it that we can get both... If we can get both of these guys out, that would be big. Let's see if we can get an arm, though. We might actually be able to go sign someone this offseason, which would be nice. We can't get Pat Mahomes. Corey Seglock. They give me Corey Seglock. Let's see. Tell me more about Corey Seglock. Looks pretty good. OSA actually likes him a little bit better. What's going on, CSI? Let's get this guy. Let's do this deal. I like this deal. I think we're. I think this is huge for us. If we can get Scope and Solarte's money off of us, pick up. What's this? A five star? Is he a five star prospect? A five star prospect, a four and a half star prospect, and a three star prospect. I mean, that's pretty huge. That's pretty huge for us. Boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room. Boom, boom, boom. Something, something, boom, boom. Okay. Let's see, what, the, what does that do for our lineup right now? Suhe Urias and Cordoba, which is how we want to do it. Yes, yes, yes. So we got our infield set, our outfield set. Maybe we can get a first baseman. Uh, I mean, Mancini played well, but I want to get a little bit more power. Uh, and I believe that was one of our goals, was to get a new uh, first baseman. Right? Well, we got... Okay, so he's good. Current 11th was 11th. We need more home runs. 
acquire a top player, which we kind of did. We got to get the attendance up, and we got to make the playoffs. So I think we're going to be pretty good here. Um, let's go check out the free agents. Where did I put that? Uh, so now we have five million that we can actually go spend. Uh, I mean, I don't think we can need to spend it on bullpen. We don't need to spend it on infield. I would not mind like a veteran outfield bat. Margot's twenty four. Gettys is twenty three. Jankowski's the old guy at twenty seven. I mean, one one more bat wouldn't be bad. I mean, of course we do have. I mean, this guy's gonna be good. I mean, we got. I mean, we're. I think we're good. I also wouldn't mind saving the money. But let's just uh let's just see what is out there. Like we can't get Dan Murphy. Duh. We'd be looking at like a Kendrick Morales. Christian Walker Duda. Yeah, I really don't think I would want these guys. Wilmer Flores. I think we, the thing is, I think we have enough bullpen right now. If you look at our bullpen, uh, Z Ranch, we got Hand as the closer, Phil Matten, Caps, Maurer, uh, Udebre Ramos, who we just traded for, is really good. Or, we, do we sign him? How did we get this guy? Uh, yeah, we traded the Phillies for him, and then we extended him. Uh,. Who else do we have in here? Iglesias, who we got in that trade. And then we also have uh, Quackenbush, Frederick, uh, uh, Cavania Sampson pitched very well last year. Uh, Colin Ray, we're probably going to have to move him at some point. Uh, let me check what his contract's like. I mean, if he's got the big contract, we can move him. No, he doesn't have much. Uh, let's go check our money situation. Uh, don't forget, guys, top of the hour, Franchise Hockey Manager is going to be taking over the stream. Uh, I highly implore you to stick around for that. So who are we paying a lot right now? Uh, a Peralta, and then he's going to come off. And, I mean, we can extend some of these guys. But we, we're not paying anybody a ton, which is nice. And then a lot of our guys are are locked up. Who's going to go big? Asuhei's going to go big because he's pretty nasty. I mean, like, I think we're good. Uh, let me see. Uh, what did I want to see? What did I want to see? Uh, I want to see the chemistry. We're content. Oh, what is this? Sandy Alomar has got some questionable relationships here. But our, our team's content. Okay. I mean, we should be okay. Let's just check the pitchers just to be safe. Uh, position uh, all pitchers. So we would be looking at, like, Pedro Strope, Colin McHugh, Jared Hughes, Jake Diekman. Do we need another lefty in the pen? I think we have two. Three, oh, we got Buckter. Uh, wow, we got... Yeah, we even got the lefties. I think we're good. I really think we're good here. You want to check the international free agents? Okay. Uh, international free agents are not up. I think they said who was coming, uh, but I don't remember. Or who got posted? 
nobody we really want. Shonagata. Okay. Uh, I'm actually very excited. Now that we made that move, let me just look to see if there was anything else that we wanted to do along those lines. Catcher. I mean, we got a couple catch. We got catchers is looking stacked. First base. We got Naylor coming up. We got Mancini now. Elvis could become good. I mean, our, the rest of our infield is good. Outfield, we should be pretty good. Look, we got three. We have two five star prospects in left and a three and a half a four and a half star prospect. So we're good there. Center field. Margot's a four and a half star. Geddes is a four star. Uh Rosario's a fourth star. So we're good there. And right field we got one four star. Or and a three star. I mean we're pretty set. I think we're good. We also have Sky Bolt. He's got a dope name. Uh, what's the what's the mail? So we made that trade with the Nats. Like, why? I I guess the Nats have uh. Did they sign anybody else? They got Harper. Who's going to play left for them? Does Goodwin kid? Michael Taylor? Does Goodwin kid hit 347? Or, yeah, 347 in 50 games. So it could be him. Unless they got somebody else uh, in the minors that we don't know about. So yeah, let's get to the winter meet, end of the winter meetings. From St. Louis, Paul DeYoung. The Cardinals would send Paul DeYoung, who is one of those guys we were looking at, to the Padres for 32-year-old minor leaguer Flores, who, if he's 32 years old in the minor leagues, he's never going to make it up for us, and Jared Joseph, definitely not. Definitely not. No, we just got Jared Joseph, and he's going to be a beast. I do like that this guy actually has a better average of the minors, but but no, we're gonna we're gonna go with Jared Joseph here. Uh, let me reject this. Okay. Oakland wants to send us Matt Chapman. No, I'm not taking a guy that can't hit. Even if this guy's not that good, I don't want that guy that can't hit. Oh, I forgot to, forgot to reject it. Arizona, you're crazy. Let me uh, make him untouchable. Reject trade. Reject trade. Okay. Uh, we'll sim to the Rule 5 draft, and that's where we're going to end tonight's stream. Unless anything else comes up. Nope. Uh, let's go, just go take a look at the draft class. Rule 5 draft pool. Let's go. The best players might be our guys that we're not keeping. 27 year old closer. Can we protect him, please? It's all right. Uh, rule five needs to be on our thing, right? I don't think any of these guys are going to be good enough uh, to take that. Yeah. Yeah, we're not going to want to put any of these guys on our, on our roster. Okay. Thank you guys for watching, please. 
Uh, make sure you follow us on Twitter at OTP Baseball. Uh, also over on Facebook, facebook.com slash OTP Baseball. Give, uh, give us a thumbs up for the likey like over there. We'd appreciate that. Uh, if you missed the beginning of this, uh, we'll be archiving it up over on uh, youtube.com slash OTP Developments. Uh, and don't forget, we stream here every Wednesday right here on twitch.tv slash OTP Developments, 9 p.m. Eastern, followed by Franchise Hockey Manager's stream with Adam and Jeff at 10. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for tonight. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll be continuing our Padres stream uh, next week, I believe. So, again, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you again next week. Take it easy, folks. <laughs>